Oh, research is, is kind of, okay. Research is an eclectic blend of ahas, and I'll tell you how. <laughs> okay, I start off with world news. I'm a news junkie, so, you know, I'm, I'm jumping from MSNBC to BBC to CNN to, you know. So, because a lot of times things will come up in the news that are just so bizarre. And I surf the web looking for AP Newswire stuff, so that's one. Uh, I watch all the different science channels. I watch, you know, Animal Planet, Science Channel, um, Military Channel, you know, Future Weapons, all that. So I love Future Weapons, and it's like, yes, you know, the MLRS. It's like 40 different like cannons on one little thing, and boom. Anyway, um, but you can adapt things from. How can I explain this? Give you an example. I'm watching the Animal Planet, and they were talking about the lions. And I'm looking at the male lions, and they basically, their job is to just like defend the hunting ground territory, but the females do all the work. <laughs> so I'm sitting there watching, and it's like three or four female lions, they're like tackling this bison, and I mean, they're getting their breast kicked. They're lions, but this bison is not going down, <laughs> okay? And then the other ones like circle them, so, and he's like laid back. Now, once they finally drag the carcass back, they're like limping and bloody. He's like, stand back, ladies, and he eats first. So I thought, oh, this is like perfect male vampire behavior. <laughs> so that's how my vampires are structured based on, you know, their job, the female's job. Because when you see old Dracula, right? Mm -hmm. If you go classic Dracula, it's like five, you know, lair kittens and, you know, one you have to vampire in your life. So I just took it, you know, right from the animal planet and you just splice it and layer it over. And that way, when people read it, okay, it rings true on some kind of resonant level somewhere that they've seen this before. It's just like if you're going to do werewolves, you got to go and look at wolf behavior. Really understand how, I mean, the dog whisperer, like I'm listening to the guy talking about alpha dogs and all this kind of stuff. I watch the wolf, you know, file it. All that kind of thing is necessary for you to build a credible monster. Because you need to take it from something natural and just layer something into it. Now, now, in the meanwhile, there's like 293 different types of vampires. Um, uh, Jonathan uh, Mayberry, he has a book, uh, Cryptopedia. I'm a guest here. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's the man, and we went to junior high school together, by the way. Yeah, small world, when we bumped into each other on the riding trails, and he was like, Leslie, I'm like, yo, John, oh man. So, he's like, what are you doing now? So anyway, we get, you know, so I go to his work, and um, what else? You can do uh, subject matter experts. People love to give you information. So if... So, I mean, I have a buddy who was over at University of Pennsylvania um, and does, like, engineering and physics and all that. So when you're going to, he helped me come up with a concept of V-Point, which <laughs> is a, this is crazy. This is a, a vampire orgasm where they dematerialize and fuse with the cells of the, indivi the other individual they're making love to, and they send all the pleasure into them and suck all the pleasure out of them and... It, it's crazy, but <laughs> those things, I mean, I, I had to learn a little bit of physics in order to, to be able to make it sound like it was really something good. <laughs> and, and